Hey guys, welcome to a new series. This one is called Picklock. It's an adorably cute little game. Every the, I love the graphics, I love the premise of the game, and a couple of other things. Um, I've played this for a few minutes as I was trying to figure out what's the new uh, series that I wanted to do. And I have determined that we are going to do a series about this because it's a fun little simple game that uh, I believe everyone will enjoy at least in part let's see here we can go back here let's see wait wait wait, wait. there's a thing there's a thing there are things to steal and things to take and we will be doing all of that but first, we're going to walk around the neighborhood and get some quick cash because some people were dumb and left it around. Funny, when I was doing my test of this, when I was doing my test run to see how this, how it recorded and how it played, uh, I didn't know that you could actually walk outside of your house. I didn't know that was possible until I actually did it. Funny fact, you cannot walk out in the street while there is, a uh, traffic. Like, see, I'll be walking in the street, there's gonna be a car that comes here in a minute, and boom, kicks me out of the street. Because our character is not dumb and does not want to die. I'm pretty sure there's another cash wad around here somewhere. There it is. I was looking through the list of achievements and there is a there is a laundry list of achievements of finding weird things and finding all the things that you can cl click on. So I went through and tried to find That's new. I've not seen that before. What's that? $10,000 in a stolen suitcase. Well, we best jet. <laughs> We started off really good. So we should have, uh, oh yeah, let's go do tutorial stuff first. So as you can see, this is our drab little home. And uh, we're going to be doing our first job. Here's a map of the town. I think it will highlight missions in green. Good idea, man. Good idea. The neighbor's dollhouse was my first target. I don't have any lock picks yet, but I saw that they keep a spare key in the flower bed next to their house. So, we literally drove out, backed up, and put our truck there. We've got to find the key. There we go, we got a key. Alright, now here's how things work in the game. Uh, down here we got F. F centers you on the character and allows you to uh, move the map by centered on him. Pressing E enters steal mode. It's like thief mode. And we get a sense of all the items that we can steal. All the things in green are things that we can steal. Yellow are things that we can interact with and blue are doors. So first things first is we're going to steal from the backyard by going through the kitchen because we're going to take all the things from the outside first. And as you can see in the top left, there is a suitcase gauge. That is the number of things that can be stolen on this level. And if we get it all, we get 100%. And we get a gold star, which is nice. I am all about 100%ing this because it's simple and easy. Just get all the stuff and don't get caught by the cops. Yes, we will be stealing from the kids' room the little bunny and the doll. We will also be stealing every single piece of toilet paper that we can find, because toilet paper is a hot commodity. Okay, so we picked up the cash. There was $500 here. That filled the cash gauge, which means there's no more cash to look for. There's just items now. Now, you can leave the mission at any time. But I won't be until I get 100% of everything. 
which sometimes is going to require great timing, other times is going to require some luck, and the rest is skill. But most of it's luck. Ooh, that's still loud. Hold on. We're gonna quit real quick. Go to settings. Readjust that. I have to re- every- Really? These were right. There we go. Screen resolution. These were right until I started a new game. When you start a new game, everything resets, including the volume levels. So, like, that intro, I had to go back and edit that intro to where it's not blaring in your ears. Because it was blaring in mine, I had to lower my volume to, like, 20% for it not to hurt me just to listen to it. So, I edited that in post. But, uh... Uh... Yeah, it's a bug. I've let the developers know about it in the forums. Hopefully they'll do something about it. But I doubt it. This game came out in May. And they haven't been really active on the forums. So we got here. Pawn shop. An old and cozy pawn shop within the house. In the old days, poker games took place here. And Pashkovic himself accepted sports betting. So we're just going to call him Posh because Posh is easy. That's still a little loud, but it shouldn't be too bad. Hey, Posh, what's up, buddy? Hello, my friend. How can I help you? Maybe guitar strings. I'm in again. I'm done with Honest Life, so your help is what I need. Great news. Picklock's back, huh? As you know, I'm not into this stuff anymore. Let's see what I have for you. What about small sewing factory? No alarms, no cameras, just quietly pick the lock and avoid the sleepy guard. Good. What's the target? Usually they make high-quality Japanese cotton dresses. If you are lucky, you can find a made-to-measure jacket. It's a rare, that's why it costs a lot. Sounds good, but I got no tools. I can give you crowbar for now, and soon I will get you something worthwhile. Thank you. It's time to get to work. New tool, crowbar. Yes, I will be doing voices for this. So we're going to come over here. There's places to visit. We will check those out another time. For now, we're going to do this first mission. Sewing factory. An inconspicuous sewing factory guarded by a sleepy policeman will be my first case. No cameras or alarms. It's a small burglary. The most valuable things are the cloth and the jacket. So in every mission, you are given items that you have to steal. So, part of this is, like, this is the tutorial mission, so it tells you about things. And one of the great things about this game is you can actually see the route security guards take, or people of interest. And we actually have skills for particular items, and they gain a level. First things first is we're going to run to uh, the bathroom. We're going to steal the toilet paper. Because that's what we do. We steal the toilet paper. So he's going to run in here. And we're going to be ballsy. Can I break this lock before we run out of time? Just. Now he's not going to notice because he's a sleepy guard that doesn't have a whole lot of skill. He's just, he's just paid to do this job and nothing more. Now I know for a fact in here is a thing. And when we open this thing, we get money. What do we get? Money. How much money? All the money that we need for this mission. So what we're going to do is... Let's come in here and we need that. We need that. And we need that. That should be everything. Yes, that's 100% on everything. So now we wait for the guard to go through. We get out of here. And as you can see, this mission is relatively simple and easy. To move the camera is WASD, right, 
uh, hold on, right mouse button, adjust the camera, and mouse wheel zooms. And if you right click an object, it tells you about the object. Okay. So as you can see, we got skills. We've got three tools that we'll be able to use of different types. Uh, crowbar first, which will get updated items later, and then there's a few others that we'll get to when the time comes. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Pash and get a new mission. Ni Hi there. Nice job, man. That's all what newspapers say. We just started, right? When you did your job, I was busy finding you something new, and it was a success. I'm glad we both worked for the common good. This is new butcher shop, and they are doing good. No cameras, just overzealous security guard constantly checking main door for break-in. Excuse me? Just a butcher shop? I know, Picklock. That's all we have for now. Alright, I'll go there tonight. And in fact, we will go there tonight, because we're going to learn something. The butcher shop. A small store feeds the entire neighborhood with top-notch beef. So why not feed me in a certain way? In addition to the cash register, there should definitely be cool inventory. So, this introduces a new mechanic from the security guard. See how he has that little lock thing there? If we break in through this front door, and he detects that that door is locked, because we can't lock doors, by the way, um, he will call his fellow policemen, and they will come and, you know, break our face. So instead, what we're going to do is come in through the back door. Because he doesn't bother to check the back door. One of the best places to go to, as always, is the bathroom. That was bad timing. <laughs> uh, we're going to pretend like we weren't spotted. I don't think that'll count against us in this. Because he didn't actually touch us. But apparently the AI can't cross over doors. Come on. Open. The uh, context keys are a little lacking. Okay, come on. Get in there. We're going to steal that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to... Oh, we forgot to steal the toilet paper. We'll get that, though. We have time. So what we're waiting for is for him to come by. And when he goes in there, we run out, open the door, break into the register. And come on. Open the register. Take the money. Now we're going to close this door. Why are we going to close this door? Because he's going into this room next. And we don't want him to see us. So now, we run down here. We steal the toilet paper. Because we always steal toilet paper. And then we run right back out. The AI in this is not incredibly smart. But they are smart enough within the limitations of the game. So, now we go back to Pash. At the pawn shop. And we get our next mission. Good job. Beware. They are looking for you now. You know I want to get one million so I can start an honest life. Character break. This guy just left an honest life. Like, he was in the game, stealing. He got out. And then he wanted to go live an honest life. And that wasn't for him. So he got back into stealing so that he can now have an honest life. This guy is just... he He's, he's bipolar or something. You can become closer to your dream. Local cinema regularly shows premieres. In two days, they expect sold out. The film reel is already there. I have buyer who will pay well for it. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Also, you will find safe there. You know what I mean? Here is gift for you. New tool to help you open safe. I gotcha. 
no movie. And we get a drill that's bigger than we are. <laughs> it was one thing when the crow, when the crowbar was a decent size, but now we're dealing with a, a drill that's bigger than we are. This beloved cinema is having a premiere. My main goal is for the 35mm. I have people who are already ready to pay for it. I should be careful as they have tightened security because of the premiere. The film room has an electronic lock, so first I need to find the key card. This is where we get some interesting things. No, you can't steal from the ATM, and yes, there are little pigeons there. So, there's two guards here. There's this one that runs around everywhere, and then there's... Where's this guy? Okay, there he is. He is he is the easiest one to avoid. So, because I already know this mission, I know there's a couple things over here. We're going to go ahead and nab that. Because he's going to be in there for a bit, then he's going to go in there, then he's going to go in there, and then he's going to make his way over here. So, because we have time, we're going to do this. And grab these things so that we don't have to worry about them anymore. Now, uh, blind spots do exist. They very well do exist. If I stick to a blind spot, because these guys have cone visions. As you can see, there, if you can see right there, there's a lighter cone in front of him. That's his vision range. And as long as we stay out of that, he'll never know we're there. And they all follow the same pattern. Their pattern never changes, which is good for us. So we're going to come in here. We're going to break in here. I think we have just enough time to get in. Yep, yeah, and the only reason I wasn't worried about that guy that goes into the film studio is because uh, I know where his vision range is, and we are just outside of it when he turns that corner. So we've got a little time. But we've got a couple of other things to break into, so... What we're going to do is... Occasionally you'll find things like this. I can hide in here. And indeed, you can hide in the places. So we're going to wait... Until this guy... Comes through here. And when he leaves, we're going to be stealing that register, that piece of popcorn, and then we're going to run in here and get the 35mm. And that should be everything. Yes. Ah! Popcorn. Don't forget popcorn. Okay, cool. Now we break, make a break for it. So... Yep, that's opened. Take the cash. Take the popcorn. Okay, cool. Get in here. Steal that. Close the door. We have 100 percent at everything. Now I just gotta wait for that guy to walk past us. Our way out. And we 100%ed this mission again. Of course, these missions are super easy. They don't really have any difficulty at all. And now we have Buku's money. So before we go to our next mission at Pawnee, we're going to go visit a couple places. Home Renovation Agency. Here, you can turn your shed into a palace or vice versa, depending on what the customer wants. Now, before we go there, we should note, we have $70,000. So, just to let you know, crime does pay. So, we're going to go to Repair Home. And we're going to look at improving our house. Now, we could just basic improvement. Those little cash wads that we found out could pay for this. A single mission could pay for this. That suitcase we found could pay for this. 
We have enough money to pay for the premium with the cheetah print. Current design. Fix it. In fact, let's buy them all, and we want this one. There we go. And now we have actually a nice house. Toilet paper collection. It's my collection. Sometimes stealing a roll of toilet paper can be harder than opening a safe. Yes. Yes, it can be. But we've got a uh, nice TV, guitar, you know, a clean kitchen, an awesome bathroom. With a toilet made of gold. Look at that. A stand-up shower. And there's a dryer in there. Cool. Hey, cool. We got a laptop, too. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, though. We'll come back in the next one and check in with Pawnee and see what our next mission is. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment and tell me what you think about this game. I think it's awesome. Uh, supposedly there's like, I don't know, 15 missions, I think, or something like that. I don't know exactly, but this will be a nice little short series to add to our collection of uh, crime videos that we're doing. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, and as always, toodles.